Good morning, everyone. So today we are actually in London. So we got up and we left Lou's house this morning uh, around, I think, 6 a.m. Um, to head to the airport. And our flight left around 8.45. Our ticket said the gate closed like 8.05. And we were like still checking in. And so we like totally ran to the, the gate we thought we had missed it but don't worry we ran for nothing because there were still millions of people behind us so we're fine we flew easyjet and i have some mixed feelings about easyjet because they didn't advertise well like their whole bag policy because we got on easyjet and we had like the normal one check bag one like backpack to put overhead storage and then one personal item to put like below our seat, right? Well, no, you you can't have two items that you bring with you onto the plane. Like you can only have one item in total. So there was no such thing as like a an overhead bin bag and like an under the seat bag. It was just one bag. And they didn't advertise that well at all. And so literally everybody that we saw was confused and they were having to pay for extra baggage. So we paid eight extra euros to basically check another bag. I just checked my backpack. So um, I was kind of mad at EasyJet for that, but on the bright side, like their seats were comfortable and we had like a decent amount of leg room. So that was good, I guess. So if you only have one bag, I guess EasyJet's the way to go. Um, anyway, so we got into London and we got on a train and we are currently headed um, I guess into the city of London. We're gonna get off at a stop called Farrington and get on the tube and head to our Airbnb. Uh, and we should get there about the time that we're supposed to check into our Airbnb. So we're doing pretty good there. Um, we're pretty excited for the day. We don't really have a set plan for the day. We just know we want to sightsee and we basically have all day to do it. So um, we're just gonna kind of walk around, see what we can see, um, maybe grab some lunch at some point. It'll be a good day. the tube station and we're waiting on our subway um, to take us to Whitecastle and we will be at our Airbnb soon hopefully. guys so we found our Airbnb we're like on I think the top floor of this this kind of small building that I think has a couple rooms in it so that's interesting um, I'll show you the room uh, we got a nice little room little table and a nice couch and a fridge and a fan and then that's our bed with some towels um, so yeah um, I think we have to like share a bathroom with everybody, but I guess it's okay. And then um, they do have laundry for us, so that's good. And I have extra laundry detergent from when I did laundry the other day, so that's good. I don't have to buy any more. So I think we're gonna kind of unpack just a little bit and then get ready and probably head into town. All right, so we made it um, to kind of the outskirts of London and we decided of course we're going to start off our London journey with some nice fish and chips so we looked up a place that's supposed to have the best ones and we're headed there now it like had five star review on TripAdvisor and um, it was like the best by far so we're going to head that way we'll see how good they are and then we'll do some sightseeing today We went to the Golden Chippy, which was so freaking good. I highly recommend it. Um, it's kind of 
out of the way if you're like trying to go like to the center of London, but like it's easy to get to, so so worth it. Um, Allison, how was your meal? It was absolutely delicious. <laughs> I love fish and chips. Uh, yeah, the fries and like the fish was like fried like just right. Then it came with a small little salad that was also delicious. I like really missed salad lately, so that was good. So anyway, we did that. And now we're headed to the station to go into the center of London. I think we might go see Buckingham Palace first, just because it's like in the middle of everything. And then I think from there we can kind of walk towards literally anything we want to walk towards. So we're gonna head there and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, so instead we decided to go to the London Bridge because our a tram got off at the London Bridge station and so we're just gonna head and see the London Bridge first before getting back on the tram at that station and then heading farther into the city. So Wimbledon's going on right now and they had this big screen and everyone was like sitting around it like just taking a little lunch break from their jobs and like watching Wimbledon and eating you know some stuff from the little stands they have around here. So adorable, right by the water. Oh, it's so cute. up what time the change of guard is and it is at 11 a.m. so obviously we missed it today but I think we might come back on Thursday for our last day um, and that might be something that we see in the morning when we're out because um, I think it would be really cool to see um, but right now we're walking around we're taking pictures and we're trying to make our way over to like the front gates of the palace because right now we're kind of farther back you can see it right there so we're gonna make our way over there and uh, see if we can get maybe some more pictures double-decker bus experience it was magical and now we're headed to the um, Princess Diana Memorial fountains which are over here by Kensington Palace inside the Kensington Gardens so it's gonna be really pretty
we walked all the way through Kensington Gardens and made it to Kensington Palace, but they were closing, so we couldn't go in it. Um, so we're gonna walk all the way back through Kensington Gardens, take a little bit of a different direction. We're gonna go see the Peter Pan statue that I'm super excited about, and then we're gonna try to find a way to get public transportation to Abbey Road and kind of explore that a little bit um, before maybe grabbing tea or going to see something else. I don't know. Today's kind of free. We'll figure out what happens. to Abbey Road so we're about to turn this corner and then Abbey Road Studios is gonna be on our left and then we're gonna have like you know the the crosswalk that the Beatles walk on um, that's gonna be across the road so maybe we'll go take a couple pictures on it all right so we just got done at Abbey Road and at Abbey Road Studio we went in the gift shop, we got some stuff, um, we walked across the street, and Allison is a huge Beatles fan. So Allison, how do you it's feel? True. I feel very <laughs> life accomplished right now. <laughs> Always wanted to do that. Yeah, no, that was so fun. So we're a little hungry and it's getting late, so we're gonna go try to find some dinner, and I figure we're close enough to Ireland where we could get some like decent Irish food. So we're gonna go find like a little Irish pub to eat in tonight. Um, I found was, I think, kind of cheap and it was rated pretty good on TripAdvisor. So I think we're gonna try that and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys, um, it's me in the car again. So I guess I did a really bad job of like ending vlogs, <laughs> especially those last few days while we were on free travel, um, which I guess makes sense. I was tired and I was just like really trying to be in the moment and see as much as I could, especially because at that time I couldn't actually post any vlogs, which is why like all these vlogs are coming so far later because I couldn't post them then because the internet was just crazy. But anyway, so you just saw us walk down um, Abbey Road, which was really cool really enjoyed it and then after that we went to this irish pub and the irish pub was actually really good i think it had like a shepherd's pie or something with like some veggies and some potatoes or something something like that um but what was so interesting is we were actually there um the day that the u.s played england um in the fifa world cup like the women did um, and I didn't know that because I don't really follow soccer all that much. Like, soccer's fine. It's not like I don't like watching soccer, but I just don't follow it very well. Um, because I follow tennis and, like, Wimbledon was going on at the same time. So I wasn't really following soccer at all. And then we walk into this pub as two Americans, um, in the middle of all these English people who are really, really cheering on England and are, like, really into the game. Um, so I didn't really vlog there because I was trying not to, like, bring attention to myself as as a, an American tourist um, who was in the middle of all these people who were just really gonna rag on me because everyone was watching the game in this um, little Irish pub that we found but the food was really good like we had a great time um, and I think after that we just went back to the Airbnb and I did some laundry and we went to bed um, I really think that's all we did um, so I was almost to the end of the vlog anyway but I'm so thankful that you guys got to the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this vlog go ahead and give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to this channel also tomorrow we're going to Wimbledon and I know you guys want to catch that so uh, make sure you subscribe down below hit the notification icon um, so that you guys know when I post that video and stay tuned for the end of this week because we have a really really amazing announcement coming at the end of this week um, that'll kind of talk about the future of this channel so again subscribe down below hit the notification icon so that you know when those videos come out and thank you so much for watching this vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow bye guys